tell us where you from, bro. I said it, but you know, I just want you to say it again. You know, Father Panic Village, that's where I was born and raised. You know, um, moved to the East End. And that's Bridgeport, Connecticut. <laughs> Bridgeport, that's Connecticut. Connecticut. Mm-hmm. I had two homes, man. Two homes? Yeah, I got two homes. Father Panic and the East End, man. They both okay. taught me everything about life. All right, so since we're there, what it was like growing up in Father Panic and growing up on the East End? Uh, growing up in Father Panic, my younger days, um, moved out when I was 11. It was rough and tough, man, you know. The the grimies of, of the mall, the projects, balling in there, it was hard, it was rough, man, growing up. Just, just trying to fit in when you get in. So when you say it was hard, what do you mean it was hard? It was just a lot of, a lot of everything going on, a lot of distractions. You could be specific. Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, you can't, bro. You know, back in the early 80s, man, it was a lot of a lot of drugs and murders. That's when that crack epidemic just hit. So it was it was different, man, as a kid seeing that. So kind of grew up fast out there. And seeing my, my family, my father going through mad stuff, my uncles, cousins, all that. Okay. I was young, though, so I wasn't in the mix. I just was saying things. Yeah, and Father Panic, I remember, you know, I was kind of young too, and you know, I'm from the, around that same era. That's, back then, that's like when Father Panic was like one of the number one highest murder rates, and you know what I mean? Yeah, Drugs, yeah, all that. everything, you know what I mean? All that. Really had Bruce Brown and Mac as far as like crime and stuff. It's not a good thing, but you know, people really know Bruce Brown for that. Yeah, it was crazy. It was yeah. too crazy. Okay, okay. How was the basketball environment around that same time? Like, growing up in this struggle, how was the basketball environment in Bridgeport at that time? Like, as, as a kid, you know what I mean? Between... As a you know kid? I mean? When you started balling to, like, seventh, eighth grade, how was the atmosphere of balling? Like, we was balling at, where Cass was playing in leagues at. Like, how was, it, how was the atmosphere around that time? Well, the atmosphere back in the... When I first started balling in Father Panic, it was it was it was like jail ball. <laughs> I mean, it was mad kids out there just balling. We even know how to ball. A lot of them just balling, just be balling. But uh, we had a lot to look up. We had, we had a lot of people to look up to out there. You know, back in them days, that's when the, the uh, Bridgeport dudes was going to the NBA. So, like who? I mean, like John Bagley, Wes Matthews. You know what I mean, okay. Charles Smith mm-hmm. at the time. Well, when I was younger, he was like high school, college. Mm-hmm. It was dudes that that was actually making it that I that that's, that was from my hood. Okay, okay. So to kind of rewind a little bit, what like what got you to start playing basketball? Like, was it anybody, anybody in the family, or? Oh, my family, man. Everybody in my family. If you ain't balling, you ain't you ain't, you ain't part of the family. <laughs> that's how it was. <laughs> my uncles, my father, definitely my father, my brother. You know what I mean? Rest Definitely. in peace, Danny yeah. of Church. Rest in peace with Big Bro. Yes, but um, my brother would have had no other way if I was involved. Okay, okay. It's a family thing, basically. Definitely a family thing. All right, all right. Definitely a family thing. That's what it is. I definitely topped the church of top up church out there ever. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> they got a big family, you know what I mean? As the viewers don't know, the up churches, they kind of, they, they're very known for basketball in Bridgeport, Connecticut, you know what I mean? So, so, what, so what, like, leagues and summer leagues was popping around that time when you was a kid? Uh, high school summer leagues, as in that, that uh, as in the youth. Like, I ain't started playing in leagues until I moved to the East End. So I started going to the center. For me, that was, that was my... You know what I mean? I was home court right there. You from the, the East? Center. You originally from the East End? I'm originally from uh, the village, Father Penny. And that's like, uh, as the people that don't know, the East End is a part of Bridgeport's one side. Yeah, you know what of, I mean? Yeah, it's different sides. The East, I'm in the East, East, East End part of Bridgeport. That's where I moved to. When I got serious with the game, that was like when I was like 11 years old. Okay, so you're originally from Father Penny. Yeah. But you, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. And the center league was popping at that time. Center leagues was popping at that time. And that's that, that's fly, right? That's fly. Yeah, that's fly. Shout that's fly, fly from there. That was fly. Shout from out to the Godfather. All right, Oliver. Yes, sir. Shout out Oliver. Shout out Oliver, Oliver Tubman. Fly, dude. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of ballers in the center league. When I coming from the village, 
I was a better I was better than a lot of dudes. I was tougher than a lot of people my age, but it was a lot of people that was a little older than me that was I was like, yo, these dudes not a ball. Okay, man. okay. It wasn't just street ball, it was that's what I was used to seeing. These so, dudes was really playing ball. So who was playing before you? Like who was the guys before you even like you was just watching? And you, you gotta know who who was the yeah, who was the nice guy. That got you to <laughs> really be like, I want a ball. I know your brother, you know what I mean? I know besides, he was a besides big... Besides my brother. Yeah, I know he was a big inspiration. Besides my brother. That. Get, it was a lot of people... In, it was a lot of people in his era that I, I was watching that I'm like, yo, these... You know what I mean? I want to be like these dudes. Like right? who? Maybe some wrong. Going mm-hmm. back to, to the legend Toast, watching Toast Ball from the East End Toast. at the center. Toast Robbins. Was, 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 was going crazy. So um, Toast. <laughs> going mean? back to... Going back to um, what else? Q, watching Q. Q was a couple years older than me. Watching him. Okay, my, that's my guy. Yeah, watching Q ball. He went. That's Q that went to Kobe. Yeah, Q that went to Kobe. Q right. Son Davis. My guy. Cool. He's still he's still a legend right yes, there. Yes, sir. Who else? Um, who else? I know there's a couple other dudes busting yeah, your ass. A couple like, other you know dudes what I mean? Before you, I before, before you, before you came up, there's a couple people busting your ass. Yeah, so, definitely. You know what I mean? Like who? Who's those guys? Um, damn. That just you know that that made you who to play. You know, ain't too many people bust my ass when I got well, to you, I ain't gonna Oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. Ain't but you know, I, you know what I say, Trav. I don't, but you know who groomed you? That kind of like got you like, damn. I gotta, I gotta. I gotta step my game up, boy. You know he he really going hard. Oh, I ain't gonna front my my, my uh, point guard wise because you know I was a PG. My boy uh, Lamont Baldwin. Okay. You know coming over there, he was one of the dudes like I gotta step my game up. Baldwin, okay. Lamont Baldwin, he was tough. Um, uh, Lamont. Um, his brother Mikey Baldwin was another one. Yep. Um. <laughs> Shit, Puerto Rican tack too. He was killing when I got to the East End. Like, little tack? Yeah, what's little going little on? Tack. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, <laughs> man? <laughs> oh, man. This is great, man. That's fine. So, what was like your road to How did you get to Harden, B? How oh, Harden. Let's would... do it without mentioning. We got your brother saved later and loaded in the conversation. Okay. So, let's kind of. Try to Mr. do this conversation without your brother involved in. Mr. Was, Mr. You know, B recruited you. No recruitment, man. He didn't have to. I was but, destined to go to Harden since I was since I was second. But grade. what school you went to before <laughs> Harden? I was destined to go. Well, to what what school you went to I before? I went to Dunbar. Oh, you just like okay. Seventh, eighth grade. You know, I was in Dunbar. Bef- 10, same. Like, 10 okay. Up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Know. Before He's Dunbar, been. same. Just Dunbar. No, before Dunbar, I was at McKinley. Okay. Before Kenley, I was at Watersville and in, in, in the village. Okay, and then we go to Harden. Mm-hmm. Been so did, you, round, man. did you play any grade school hoop? Like, like seven and eight for Dunbar. Basketball league? Yeah, uh, yeah seven, eighth grade Dunbar. Dunbar? League. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 I did yeah, the yeah. Same. You, you, So you killed that too. Oh, I thought that was easy. Tore that up. Shout out to my boy Roger Ricketts, Rod Rosewood. We tore that up together. Okay. Roger, my boy. <laughs> Shout out Roger. Tore that up together. Shout out Roger. Roger and Rob, we said Rob Rosebro. Yeah. yeah, we lost though. We, yes. we lost the chip. I ain't gonna stop. We lost the chip to Reed. Reed was tough. You Who know, Reed we had? Every year. Who we had? Remember. Who did Reed have? Reed, Reed had. had. Uh, they had my my man. Shout out Neil Jones. They had Neil? Neil. Yeah. Okay. Shout Neil, out. Man. Shout out my brother uh, Shane. They had Shane. Shout out Neil, B. Shane Jane Petway. Okay. It was tough. They had them too. They had Tyler from the Tears. It was tough. It was right. tough. Yeah, Reed was the Reed was in the mix. When I was in the school, Louis Marantico, but Reed so, was the mix though. On your Dunbar was you, Roderick, Rod, um, me, Roderick, Rod, 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 Rod Roseburg. Rod, who else? Yeah, Mike Evans. Mike Evans. Who else? Um, man, who was the coach? Salt was the coach. Salt was y'all yeah, coach. Salt was because at the time I had uh, what's homeboy? Legendary Salt. Salt was our gym teacher at the time, but he was not coaching no more. Yeah, so I had was staff. We going to go in there Stafford, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, as Dunbar, as a Dunbar coach. Mm-hmm. Y'all had Mr. Salter, basically. That's lit. So back so to Harden. Des- you was destined to go to Harden from the second grade? I was there? destined to go to Harden from the second grade, man. You were a village kid. You, like, destined to go to Harden, but... But I used to be on the Harden benches, man. When I was like fourth grade, fifth grade, I was sitting on the bench. You know, I was like the little water boy. So, 
oh, okay. I was in them locker rooms early. Like I, I knew oh, it was wow. the way before I got there. Like it was it was different from a regular eighth grader going in. I never I don't see these dudes get the paddle. I don't. I was young seeing this. The paddle. Yeah, the you, getting hit. I don't see dudes running we'll get crazy. To, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I don't see it all. I don't, <laughs> So I was destined to go there. I ain't had no choice, man. So that's in the blood, bitch. That's the yeah, bloodline. Definitely the bloodline. Harder, harder president. I was definitely the bloodline back then. No Central, no Bassett, no, no St. Joe. I probably should have broke that, man. I could have went kind of anywhere, but you know. Okay. But at that, this is shit I like, like to get into. So at that point in time, it was kind of like harder than winning a long time before you got there. Before I got... Harder like, they went in the brick. It, it was like a couple of years that they didn't It was win. like three years. Yeah, it was three years. Like three years after they won X amount back to back? It was three years. When I was in the eighth grade, Harden lost in a state... Was it a state championship game, I believe? They had a tough team. They had like eight seniors. That my brother played on that team. Rob Thompson played on that team. My cousin Kevin Upchurch played on that team. Um, who else they had that team? Seniors. They had... Thaddeus Wilson Vaughn on that team. That was was Phil on that team? Nah, Phil, Phil had left for it. Yeah, what team is this? This was this was when I was in the eighth grade, hard when I was coming into Harden. Oh, yeah. Okay, who was who was who was basically starting at the time? When I was in the eighth or my yeah. freshman year? No, the eighth grade. Who was starting? So who they lost to? Stanford Ohio. The starters the when I was in the eighth grade West at Harden? I don't know. Was my brother, my cousin Kev, Rob Thompson. Um, who's the big dudes? Kev who? Kev Upchurch. Okay. Um, I forgot who the two big dudes was. It probably was Richard Martin. And then you come in the next year. I came in the next year. All them seniors had left. And then they left, and who? And, and you was a freshman. I was a freshman, yeah. So you played freshman. Yeah, I'm glad you were with your brother. Oh, mm-hmm. golly. Nah. So, so as you as a freshman, you just play freshman. Nah, I, I and JV probably freshman and JV. I ain't played no freshman or JV. I was straight to varsity. Man. So you played straight varsity at straight Harden. Varsity four years. I, actually, I ain't gonna. I played three. I played three freshman games, three JV games. But Mr. Billy cut all that out. He ain't want me to play because I was starting all three. You ain't even playing freshman games. I played in three freshman games. No, I'm saying after the three freshman games, you didn't play in freshman games. Then it or then JV. The game, you just played straight, just straight varsity. varsity. Did wow. you just go I off was or something? I was after freshman. Was crazy. Like, did you just go? What, yeah, what made the, them say, "No, nah, this kid ain't can't play"? I don't know, man. <laughs> well, so that's the biggest question. In this, that's the biggest question. It's like, yo, did he take his brother's spot? Who's spot? Nah, my there? brother wasn't there. My, my brother, brother graduated. Left. His brother yeah. left. Right. I know so his I brother. Came, when he was a freshman. That's when I was a freshman. All right. So, you, all right. So, all right. So, all right. That's that's good. So is that my rare? brother was the starting point guard for three years mm-hmm. there, and then I came and I did. You know what I mean? Just took over from him. Oh, all right. Is that rare? Definitely Somebody rare. to come have, in. That, that, that definitely wasn't happening back then. I ain't expected to happen myself. I went there expecting. Uh, so we, so, so we just we watched a little footage, right? And I was just was like, "Yo, who my man right here?" And you like, Yo, <laughs> that was my that's that's Gerald. That's, 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 that's the only way you're gonna be able to play if you go. I mean, that hard. And if you only way you're gonna be able to play, if you gotta take that spot. Uh, yeah, I had to take a couple spots. But was Gerald coming in the same year as you, Gerald? Nah, G was a junior. Matter of fact, it was G there. Shout out to you. Shout out to my boy G. He look, he going to take. He Puerto Rican hoes. He said he was he, going on. Puerto Rican hoes B was the senior guard. Who? Puerto Rican hoes B. Okay. He was supposed to be the senior guard wow. that was there. Um, it was mad dudes there. Raymond, Raymond, there. Raymond, Raymond, Raymond Lopez Raymond, was, there. was there. Yeah, my man Jeter was there. Took his spot too, you know. G. Shout out G. He, he in the, G in the building. Shout out G. Shout out G. What up? How you doing, man? Nah, but um, it was a couple guards that I had to fight for, but I wasn't even fighting for. I was just playing like because you was already they 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 was expecting you to come. I in, had right? high expectations. They knew who I was. Definitely that. I don't know if that played a part. I don't think that played a part, but 
He threw me in the fire because of that. Like, how did they know who you was, though? Like, they was destroying dudes in summer leagues? And, <laughs> nah, man, you know, you, I'm your boy, but you know, I, I love to hear the stories, but I just really want to know. I never really asked I mean, you Mr. that. Ben, that's what I mean, like I said, Mr. Bentley and Smooth was the coach. They knew who I was since a young buck, so they was basically waiting. So did you drop, like, summer league... You dropped 40, you know what I mean? Did you do something crazy? They didn't get hot to the summer league until he got to the East End. Yeah, East End. But that's the next thing you know, you're in high school and playing for Harden at that time, you might not get rock in certain When I got to the East End, I realized I, I realized there was no guards around that was fucking with me. Cause you, you, yeah, but, that was my age group. But was it like the you similar, know, so the I regular like, thing, fly, fly, scoop juice, groom you? You know how it is when we from this. Somebody be like, yo, this kid, besides your family, you know, your family already got the thing. Or was yeah, you just fly. next up in the family automatically? I was just next up. Basically, it was, and my family is, ne- is next, next up. Next up. Okay. Next? It ain't, you ain't nice enough, nigga. It's your turn. Let's go. Let's rock. As you about to be, go be the best in the city. That's what we was trying to do. All right. Like, this sophomore year went that hard. How was that season? Sophomore year. What about freshman year though? No, we, we, no, we this dude, he said year. he was the. Did, I just want to know how many games. Like, did you start any games? Game. I started every game as a as freshman. a freshman in varsity. Yeah, varsity. Wow. I That's was thirteen. I was game. playing against monsters like Rashmel Jones. Or these dudes is nineteen year old monsters. Like, I used to be mad nervous in them games. I ain't gonna front, but what's the high? Your high freshman year. My high year. freshman year was fourteen. I had 14 against St. Joe's. They was the number one team in the state. They had the number one point guard in the state, Kyle Commodore at the time. Oh, okay. Kyle was nice. And what you do to him? <laughs> nah, yeah, bro, not now. Nah, nah. I had my best game against Kyle. We beat That's them what I at St. Know. Joe's. They was the number one team in okay. the state. We beat them at St. Joe's. That's lit. It's crazy because at the beginning of the game, like right after jump ball, I got poked in the eye that game. I played that game with one eye, mm. and I had my career high. I was so mad, like, Mr. Bentley was trying to take me out. Like, I want to play. And I had 14 that game. I had double digits, like, three times my freshman year. Okay, okay. It okay. wasn't much shooting. It was get a ball to that to that guy over there. That's what it was. Yeah, I, I know I know <laughs> that ain't the, really the system like that. At, yeah, at hard yeah, yeah. You're a point guard at Harden, man. It's tough to get shots, but just to stay in the court, it's... It's, it's tough. It's <laughs> tough. Just, just stay in the court. You guys might have to give up the rock and play defense, baby. Stay you know what I mean? Court, but it works man. like that. So how did sophomore year work out for you? You got, you had the momentum coming sophomore out. Sophomore year, I had the momentum. Year. I had the confidence, you know. I was ready to go. The seniors was gone. So it was basically like my team, me, me and a couple juniors. Um, That year was crazy. That was the year we had to fight, man. It was a fight, a big fight between Harden and Bassey. Pepper spray? I was at that game. game. <laughs> I was at that <laughs> game, yo. Right, I was man. out that there. Was that year. I was a sophomore, so we got suspended that year. We couldn't make the um yeah, yeah. we couldn't make the playoffs. Yeah, that's that's real. Why so, I wonder whatever happened, why that why the what the what all, all the workers was about like it was that year, like rival the rival games play. going out and fighting in the stands. And it was going ham. Yeah. I was there, and it was just crazy. It just hey, the crazy. whole gym got pepper spray. I mean, I had to go in the locker room. They made us go in the back locker room with the players. And stuff. Yeah, so it was crazy. It was, that's that's how the hard and basket games used to be back in the day, man. It was that shit was crazy. <laughs> that was ninety. That was ninety five, ninety six. That felt like. The 80s, how the hard and basket games used to be back then. They used to be shooting in the gym back then. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being like fifth fifth grade, fourth grade, they shooting in the Sorry, gym. gym. Yeah. Like, don't foul nobody too hard. You might get clapped up. Oh, shoot. You played AAU in high school? I played AAU in high school. AAU was different in high school. You know how I was like grade based now? Like all the ages play together? Yeah. It was like freshmen's. Sophomore, junior, seniors, you all on the mm-hmm. same team. So, yeah. how, many f- how many years you played? You play AAU. I played three years AAU. My freshman year, I was a freshman. I made. I played for the uh, Sheen Center AAU. That team was tough. They had Q on that team. Um, Q Son Davis. Mm-hmm. They had uh, Rashmel Jones on that team. So I'm sitting behind them as. You know what I mean? They super guards. Yeah, it's a young guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had that's Rashmel Jones had Toby from what? Toby Crombie um, from New Haven on that team. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> me and my me and my boy Roger was the only two young boys on that team. Oh, 
Roderick. Yeah, Roderick. 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 That's what's up, man. We got to get in on what we got to get him in here, too. Yeah, Uda, no we get in on what no, he got. They might be actually. Ain't got that legendary brother, man. I don't know. Ain't brother been my idol for t- Booby Wright, man. T- oh, see, that's, that's what we're saying. I don't know. I didn't yeah, so yeah, A lot so, of people don't so know that. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Booby Wright was like the best to ever go to Harden without uh, making it to the league. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> your junior year, is that like the, the year when. When like you really things really change for you like far as like college is seeing you or like you know what I mean yeah a lot of talk, local colleges you know, talk paper paper big paper talk yeah yeah a lot of newspaper articles um a lot of wins scoring my my scoring went up you know I'm like the vet on the team now I've been starting for two years now so I'm definitely the what vet. was your high yeah I don't remember my high yo um junior year. I really don't. I okay. remember my high senior. I don't remember my high junior year. Okay, okay. The high senior, you know, the, the, junior, the junior, junior year season. Who y'all beat in the state ship? Was it St. Joe's? We beat St. Joe's in the state ship. We beat St. Joe's in the state ship. They had a real big team. Oh, yeah, they had seven foot TJ McKenzie. He went to Providence. They had six nine Larry Jackson. Hmm. Larry Jackson, um, big dude, yo. They had Vern, they had Vern from the Port out mm-hmm. Yeah, they Friday. had guards. They had a lot of guards that they was trying to say was better than me, man. Mike, 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 Mike Romanovich. He was so going off. Yeah. Jimmy Hunt. He was going off. Yeah. What was your what was your, what was, what was your points and your stats for the championship game, state? For the state championship game, I had fourteen point seven assists. Okay. I should have got MVP. I led the team in scoring and assists, but I didn't get MVP. Who got MVP? They gave it to Dawes. Dawes had. Oh 10 yeah, points. I remember Dawes. Yeah. Okay, he was Dawes going off though. My that was my, that's my big man. Yeah, yeah. Dawes. I mean, mm-hmm. got like seven points in the third quarter. Got MVP. Yeah, like yeah. But we beat St. Joe's in the FCI championship before that same year. Mm-hmm. Oh. I got MVP of that, so yeah. I wanted both, and I mean I wanted all yeah. that. Yeah, I've been all. I've been all that both of those well, games. I wonder too. why St. Joe's won in our heads when we walked yeah. in the building and we played St. Joe's years. What? <laughs> we played it three times that year. Our heads the next time we played in their buildings, boy, they won her bad, boy. That's yeah, St. Joe's used to be tough. I used to love playing in them games. I used to love playing in a row. I used to hate playing at Harden. Why? It was too easy, man. I used to like playing in hostile environments. Where? It was too easy at Harden. It was like when you say why was it too easy, just because we used to. We used to beat the brakes off of everybody who come in there. People couldn't handle that pressure, man. That, that People defense? People was already scared walking up in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the Bridgeport mystique and then the, the and Harden mystique and then we jump on them like dogs for real. That press. <laughs> that press was crazy. The press was deadly. That press was deadly. Was it Smooch? Smooch was on y'all team, right? Smoochie Smooch yeah, Smooch yeah. was a, he got uh, a fre
we was, we was projected and went back to back joints. That's what I wanted to do. That was my goal. That's that's why I went to Harder, man. I wanted to win back to back states the way they was doing in the eighties. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of embarrassed. I only got one ring. I went to Harder. Why you lost? We we lost in the quarterfinals, man. We lost to. We lost to Notre Dame, West Haven. Quarterfinals by one. Who was the top dog on that team? Like who was the who? Pete Santo was top dog on their team. He was like six four dude. Okay. Guard. I never heard of him until no no I did hear him I've been hearing his name all year in the papers but I finally got a chance to play against him he was guarding me I had I dropped twenty eight on him oh, okay, well, I okay. lost by one man I was tight how much you average that year I averaged twenty that year oh you sprung the numbers man. only twenty man how much dimes how much dimes huh how much dimes how much assists. Um, they ain't used to keep the assist, man. But you know, in my head, I ain't played point guard my senior year, too. Who played the point for you? Yeah, who's that? Who's the point? Who played the point for my senior year? Who played the point for my senior year? That's what happened my senior year. This, this, oh, this is a, this a, <laughs> this a classic question. Who played the point your senior year? Who's the starting five? My boy Greg Sistro was the star. I was about to say Antoine. That's what no, I was going to say. Greg. Greg, Greg did? Greg, oh, yeah. I, re- I remember that. Yep. Greg Sister was the point guard. His I was brother kinda upset. Mr. Bentley came to me, was like, I'm gonna put you as the two guard. I'm like, nah, I'm 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 a point like I ain't never played two <laughs> guard my whole life. Like, what you mean play two guard? Like Your I numbers went score. up though. You know me to score. Up. I'm like, I could score from anywhere. Like, I don't need to go over there to score. I'm like, I'm trying to go to college. I don't want to go to mm-hmm. be no five nine two guard. Uh-huh. Oh. But, you know, he always get the last word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a five that year. Uh, Greg Sistrunk, me, um, rest in peace, shout out my boy Chaz Rogers, was the other wing, um, rest in peace, man, who else, Rob Doss was the big man, mm-hmm. my boy Marlon Hatton, big Marlon, big Marlon, Marlon. big Mike was on that team, Mike Marlon. Evans was on that team, what was it like playing with Chaz? Um, it was cool with Chaz, man. Um, Chaz, when I was a when I was a senior, Chaz was a junior. So um, this was this was Chaz's first first year in the fire, but um, he stepped up. I, he was my he was my other wing. You know, going to Harding, if you ain't got a wing partner, you ain't got, you ain't got nothing. But he was my other wing guy. Mm-hmm. I, I depended on him. He he used to step up. Mm-hmm. He used to that step was- up. I used to have to wake him up sometime. Like Chad, that was our that was our leader the following year. The following lead, the, the leader of the following year was, was Chad. Chad. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, Chad held yeah. everybody down. Yeah. Like, he was holding it was down too. So he was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Chad was definitely a leader. He was not, Chad's a natural born leader. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. off the court, Chad's a he yeah. ain't no follower, no nothing like that. He used to be a leader. Rest in peace, man. Facts. Rest in peace, Chad. So, who's the best player that you played against? High school, your whole time in high school, the best player. Best player I played against my whole time. Um, if you can't say one, give us two. Rashmel Jones. Uh, Who he played for? Evan Saunders. He played for UConn, Rashmel Jones? Saunders. They both Sanders. went to UConn, yeah. Okay. Evan Saunders went to Holy Cross. Yep. So. I remember he went to Holy Cross. Rashmel went to Trinity. Earl Johnson was tough. He went to Trinity playing against... But I was young playing against them. What about Bobby Moore? Bobby Moore, oh yeah. Playing against Bobby Moore was crazy. I only played against Bobby Moore in the scrimmage and AAU game. Oh, okay. Bobby Moore was an animal. What was that that like? Huh? What was that like? Playing against Bobby Moore. What was that like? In the AAU atmosphere. Were you having to be be freestyle? You ain't out there in the system and he... He he on he he's a system player, but he get to do his thing. You were kind of kind of restricted, and then now you playing against the dude that got the not the height, but yeah, basically the height. He's oh, nice, height. but he got the height. But it's like, all right, I get you in the ring. It's me and you. My first time going against Bobby Moore. Well, I went against Bobby Moore a lot of times in um, AU games. He played for uh, uh, CT Select, Alan Harford, and the Waterbury, and all that, but. But that dude was a blur, man. He's the best AAU dude I've ever seen in person. He's the best guard I've ever seen play to this day. I ain't going to start. He's the best guard I've ever seen play. Bobby Moore. Up close in person. Bobby Moore from New Haven. Shit was incredible. <laughs> there was nothing you could do about it. <laughs> it was crazy. Word. Word. When I first seen him in high school, I was like, yo, he better than, he better than half the NBA guards right now. 
his handle and his speed was you never see it again. Like it was crazy. What year you graduated? I graduated ninety eight. Okay, ninety eight. Bobby Moore graduated ninety eight too. All right, all right, all right. So what, Kevin Rail? What what year was they? Did you Kevin play against them a little Rell bit? Well, Rail basically in high school. Yeah, Rail a year under me. Under Rell you. Cox and them. Yeah. That so, was a year under me. You the know, they was young bucks until them niggas, to them dudes became like six four. But they was young bucks. You play early. AU with them though too, right? Yeah, I was playing AU with them too. What team y'all played for, huh? She ain't said her team. Who was the name like, of the team? Like, was it like, Connecticut Flame? No, it was it was it was the Shane Center. I was oh, the right. AU team. Yeah. But after I played That's AAU That's the Vegas spot Y'all went to Vegas for all went to Vegas them? Like after I mm-hmm. played With the older dudes Q and them That's when I started playing with It was me, Rel, and Cox That was the trio Yeah, 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 yeah Me, yeah. Rel, Cox My man Don P from Stanford My man Don Shane Don DePina with the yeah, handle Yeah, Don DePina from the handle All the handle <laughs> What was it like Those Central games Playing against Rel Even though that shit You know what I'm saying y'all Playing close. against Rel Them Central games, man Was they never beat us. We blew them out every year, except for my senior year. That was a big year. They was, they was, they was tough. They had a tough team, and there was a lot of hype of the Harden Central game that year. And um, they almost had us. They almost had us. Um, year, they was up fourteen at the half. You know, my boy. That's my like my brother Terrell Taylor, talking shit to Mr. Bentley at the half. That was ring night for us too, cause we won a state championship the year before that. So Mr. Billy, like, if y'all don't come back and win this, y'all ain't getting that. Y'all ain't getting that ring. Oh wow! <laughs> That's y'all, right. He said that halftime. Yeah. Y'all don't come back and yes. win this. Y'all ain't getting y'all ring. It's ring night. We down fourteen essential at home. You know I had to bring them back. I had the buzzer beater that game against against Central. That was a TV game. I had twenty. Led the team in scoring. Led the game in score. I had Terrell Taylor, one of my top. Three players of all time. <laughs> Don't want to put them on wax like this, but we talking hard and shit. That's the same night Chaz ripped them three times. That's in the row. same night. Rest in peace, Chaz. He ripped Rel three times. Two, three times. Two, three times in a row, yeah. half court. <laughs> he did. We got the lead. Chaz helped me. Chaz helped save the game. That Chaz helped. Chaz run his back. I hit the shot to. To put it in overtime. That's what the, that's what the folks tell me, man. I wasn't there. I was, I was, in a I was, was part of that. That's right. That was Chad's best game that year. Because Rel was a juggernaut, man. They had a crazy <laughs> team. Who, Rel and them? They had Rel, they had Shane. They had the, the dude from Waterbury. He just transferred. Um, Neil Roundtree was a monster. Yeah, I heard he was. I heard he was, he was out of control. I heard Neil Roundtree was out of control out of it was, <laughs> was bouncy like that. He was out of control. Crazy. And they had um, and they had the other jumping dude, Mike Rosario. Yeah, I'm about to see y'all. Y'all, they put all the whoopers the next year. We was show. We was we was fishing the shark pools, dog. We was <laughs> yeah. Done. They was ready. They for beat y'all. St. Joe's twice. Then Central yeah. had their chance. Then Central, <laughs> everybody beat us that year. Everybody <laughs> beat us. We came back and won. Yo, so um, you got the FCA. I want to know. You think if you the if you didn't go to Harden, you think you went in another school, Central, or whatever, another school in the city that you'll be averaging thirty? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I play for any other school. I would definitely put up thirty. If I put up twenty at Harden. I would definitely put up thirty at another public school. I would put up forty at a Catholic school. To be to be honest, forty. Forty. That competition was a little weaker, so the best players could put up 40 when they want to. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, uh, at Harden, it's, it's tough, man. You got a lot of players. I had the green light my senior year, so I was being, I, I, I could shoot when I want, but to a minimum. It's how really did, how did you get that? How, how was <laughs> it like, how, when you say that, like, what do you mean to the minimum? <laughs> Beginning of the year, he told me he wanted me to average 18 points. I'm like, I have a 17 last year, like 18. And I'm looking at 25. You know, I'm look, I'm thinking like that. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of games. I ain't played the fourth quarters, man. Why, though? Cause you know, the blowout games. Oh, okay. Well, fact. It's Billy ain't like taking advantage of uh, blowout joints. But, you know, them, them the games I have 16, I could have had... Something crazy. 24, I don't play the 25. Yeah, yeah I, I what you saying. Yeah, but I look in the paper, my, my, my boys from other schools, they going crazy against the, you know what I mean? Against the, against the corny team. So that's they frustrating. 35 years, making me like my numbers should be better. 
Should definitely been better than averaging 19.8, 20 points. Would that got you farther in college, more colleges? Probably, probably would have, you know. Probably would have. But what you, you care, you care more about scoring or winning? I care more about winning. I definitely care about Facts. winning. I'm a point guard to heart, so. So score. that system helped at the end of the day. System definitely, definitely helped. The winning win. system. Definitely. Would definitely help me win. Okay, okay. Only won two years there, to be honest. The first two years at Harden was was, was rocky, was shaky. I was like, man. <laughs> <laughs> what was the um? What was the college looks looking like after your senior year? Um, you know, going to public school, man. College is is very few, but I had a couple of local joints, <clears throat> JUCOs. Fairfield looking at me at the time, University of Hartford. What's the like best, like the biggest school that you think that you? The have? biggest letter I got was from I got a letter from Miami of Ohio. Okay. I was the, that was the biggest letter I got. Mm-hmm. They were interested. What Since else? My school? junior year. Any other schools? Interested, but you know, grades and all that. I had to go to JUCO route. Okay. What, what JUCO school you went to? I went to Sage JUCO in Albany, New York. Um, for one year. Then I transferred. Oh, I went to another school. I went to uh, Marshalltown, Iowa. Me and my cousin Kevin Jeffries went there together. Marshalltown. Okay, okay. How did that turn out? Um, it was cool, you know. It ain't work out. I ain't finished. Came home. Start being a knuck. Start being a. Start getting into the Bridgeport. The Bridgeport thing. What's that? Well, before before we get there, you mentioned <laughs> Kevin Jeffries. Terrell Taylor. Back on some hard and shit. Mm-hmm. You was like the, you was the man. You, you was you was like the superstar before the the superstars was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I helped groom the I, I helped groom the best ballers that probably ever come from here, man. Ralph Cox, mm-hmm. Kevin Jeffries. Mm-hmm. They was young bucks to me until they started flying out the gym. It was like over after that. Yeah, once they, yeah, once they got to the back, it was like, yo, hold on, I can't do nothing with it. But I can't do nothing with it. It was that. y'all, y'all, that's, that's the crew. You but know like sixth you? grade, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth grade, all that, they was, they you know, they, they under their year under me. Kev, two years under me, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but. Y'all, that's the crew. That's the crew. Though. That's, the, that's yeah. the crew. As in, you hear that crew? Yeah, yeah, when, when they say yeah. their name, they Come say on, their son. name. You know yeah. what I mean? That's a, that's, you know what I mean? That's a thorough crew, son of Ubers. And it's still like that right now? Like, right now, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Like that. And it's the essence, man. That's why, that's one of the biggest reasons why we got to get in. Back then, the best ball is just to hang with each other. This. We'd get up in high school, we want to. Of course, we want to play against each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't nobody. None of us was running from the from that cop. Yeah, them dudes was training though. You could catch Rel running around your hood in the morning. <laughs> Rel was one of them dudes, dudes catching running around, getting uh, it in type motherfucker. If any of them dudes went to Harden, man, them dudes would have made it to the pros, yo. They was set up perfect for that system. Cav, Cox, and Rel, man. That workout system, Mister Bentley was giving you. That IQ level, Mister Bentley was giving you. It was different, man. They would have made it, I think. That toughness, too. All that would have been different. The way they played in the college, they would have played like that when they was in high school. Mr. Bentley had you playing like a college player in high school. That's lit. So, Always tell them dudes that, man. Yeah, it's crazy. So what did, um, far as like Juco, how did it go, though? Like, far as the basketball thing? Juco was cool my first year. Um, I was Albany. I play. I came off the bench. My first time ever coming off the bench. It was crazy. I felt like <laughs> I felt like quitting. Why? Because they had a uh, dude that was ahead of me that was about to graduate. Senior, you know, basically. Yeah, you know, two years school. He was. And you never felt that go- I never coming felt in. Coming off the bench, and I was better than him too. And I knew I was better than him, and everybody knew I was better than him. But but that's the system. Yeah, that's like that college. You should be sometimes. Yeah, I had to wait. And you and you. So you left because of that, or you? Nah, just when the school year ended, you know. Um, I had a I had a kid my freshman year in college. Okay. So okay. I left because of that. That's when I left. Okay. 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 I left. Came home a couple years. Um, balling in the rest in peace tournaments. That's when a scout seen me and Kevin Jeffries playing in the Rest in Peace tournament. We went to school off of that. Oh, okay. Marshall I didn't know that. Iowa. 
right. And then y'all went back. Then you went back. Then you went back. Yeah, I went back to school. I tried it again. I went back to school. Niggas went to school off the rest in peace. That's crazy. That's a hood classic. I didn't know that. You know how long we knew each other. I didn't know that. I was out here balling and got like, up. We went together, yo. That shit was crazy. So y'all went together. We went together. And how did that go, though? Um, That was a little rocky out there. Being living in Iowa was different, man, coming from where we come from. <laughs> from a city, you yeah, know, we the biggest Iowa city in different. Connecticut. So we was there for like, you know, we was out there. Ron Artest's little brother was there, too. Damn. Daniel Artest. Okay. We was there with him. They had some ballers there. That who was else? like a good pathway to get to D1. Dudes just going to the University of Colorado, Hawaii, Creighton, dudes just going to school. So okay, man. okay. And um, Kev was there for like three, four weeks, and Kev ain't like it. The environment. Kev was the best one on the team, and Kev ain't like the environment, the slowness of it. Kev left. That's when Kev went to UB after that. So what about judo? I stayed. I ain't want to leave. I and stayed. You, and you stayed, and I stayed. did you start or? I did start. I, I started. I started. Um. We wasn't good. Ryan Artest, he ended up getting kicked off the team. His I mean, brother? Daniel Artest ended up getting kicked mm-hmm. off the team. He was crazy. Another dude flunked off the team. We only finished the team with... We only finished with seven people. Dudes was flunking off the team. It was crazy. Here. Yeah, we only finished with seven people. It was crazy. And then you... Did you finish the whole season? I finished my whole season. What's uh, your average? I think I have something like 11. It wasn't nothing crazy. We had a score. We had this dude from... from he was from um, the Bronx. I forgot his name, too. He was our scorer. He was putting up buckets. He was, I was like 23. Yeah, he, he was like top 10 in Juco scoring out there. So he was my two guard. I was feeding him. Okay, I mean, okay. I know we talked about it earlier, but let's get into the influence of your brother in your life. You know what I mean? R.I.P. Danny Upchurch. You know what I'm saying? He used to come to our practices, work out with us. When I was a young dude, when I was a freshman in Harvard, he was around all the years, basically. He okay. was around. Okay. Come to him and worked out. I ain't know that. He ain't want me to go with him. I ain't know that. He was in the, he was in the spot. He definitely was in the spot working out with us, getting it in. You know what I mean? Passing down the knowledge. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Arden Cats do, man. Like, what's the experience of your brother, you know what I mean? Being a part of the team, you know what I mean? Having a brother that played before you at the yeah, team, you know what I mean? Yeah. Soon. That was, that was like my best friend and my brother because we was close in age, four years apart. So I hung with him everywhere. So his friends was my friends. So I had older friends, like, coming up. That's lit. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's lit. I was with him. I wasn't really with my age group dudes until I got to high school. But mm-hmm. his friends was my friends. Oh, okay. So I learned a game from that, too. Like, playing with these older dudes. They tear me up for years. Toughness. That's why yeah, I was asking, you know what I mean? Yeah, toughness from them. Because toughness up. Yeah. Who, who was, like, your brother friends that? I know uh, you named a couple earlier. Vaughn just... Colbo. Okay. Um, Sabrina Brown, SB. shout out SB. Um, uh, D Dog, um, okay. Who else? Um, my man Gerald, I mean, he mm-hmm. was more my brother, close to my brother age than I was. Okay, okay, okay. Um, who else, man? Just it, it just like his 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 high school friends at the time. I mean, I'm around like high school dudes, I'm in the fifth grade. So I'm hanging with them dudes. That's what's up, man. And Denny's that same type of, Denny Jr.'s that same type of mold. Like, he's around the younger athletes, yeah, yeah. older athletes, uh, and he's, you know what I mean? He's like a grown-ass man around kids and, you know what I mean, older adults type of dude. You definitely I mean? took the ropes up after me. <laughs> it's a different level. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Shout out Dia. Shout out my oh, nephew yeah. Dia. So... You know, we could, uh, as like we talking about your nephew, you know, we got your your son. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? You got Travis. Both of your sons, right? but you know yeah, what I mean? Right? Travis to Kai. To Kai, right? I went to make sure I know it's Kai. Kai, 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 you know what I mean? That eight, nine-year-old era. That eight, nine-year-old era. Kai, Kai, and my nephew, Donye, my brother's son. Yeah. Donye, you got Donye, you, you got Brian's son. D-Up, little nephew. Yeah, you got I mean, Brian's son. I mean, D-Up, brother. Yeah, you got Brian's son, you got Greg's yeah, son. Yeah, You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mother, we get it together. You got the size. 
You know what I mean? That that era right there. Yep. Yep. You can package them up right yep. now yep. and put them in the system and let them play together yep. right yep. now. You know? They all together. Yeah. That was yeah. that whole crew together. Let them play. The, let that. Get this, that's up off camera, man. I get. No, nah, I hear you. So now you got basically you. You got the next generation, you know, you did your thing and you learned basically what what can you do to make sure your your son's not saying you 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 failed or anything, but learn from your mistakes. Like what what's the thing that you doing that and incorporate that in the family and other people that you work? Because I know you work with a lot of community and not a lot of kids. What well, what's and it ain't saying like what's your message to the other kids that's just trying to that basketball? You know everybody dream basketball, but what what's what's your message to them to learn from your experience or well, just your college and all that? To uh, learn from my experience, what I'm doing with my boys right now, my nephews, my son. Um, we started getting them out of Bricksport, man. We started getting them out of Connecticut. I realized Connecticut wasn't tough enough basketball wise to get you to that next level. That and, and when you when you got out, it was kind of like a, a a wall in front well, of you. Yeah. So exactly. I understand when what I you're saying. I got to college. I understood it was better dudes in other places, and I I, I always thought I was the best. I never really realized that, and I was like, mm -hmm. we gotta do something different. Cause I knew my nephew was coming. Yeah. I'm only 15 years older than my nephew, so I knew he was coming next. So I always told my brother like, so my nephew start exploring, going to the city. AAU and all that at an early age. Mm -hmm. So I knew I was going to do that with my son. Just, and I seen how how much of a better player that they that they made us. And, and when the obstacle, for instance, different from your, roles, yeah, man, like, yo, and they can overcome it. After my nephew been traveling with my son, I done learned so much around the country from different fathers across the across the the whole United States. Mm -hmm. And there's different roads and different paths you got to take to to really be good enough to yeah. make it cause mm -hmm. our best player here man don't <laughs> if you ain't never got out you ain't got a shot alright like, quick quick father before we get out of here quick father tip um you, you didn't force your son to play hoop right did you force your child to play hoop hell yeah what you think oh, alright alright people <laughs> don't want to make yeah, sure yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I'm like cause I'm, it's just like alright are you gonna force you gonna, you gonna LeVar Ball or are you gonna let him do it force that shit I'm a for, I forced it you I definitely forced, forced it pushed it upon him he fell in love with it once he fell in love with it I fell back see if he still want to do it this was around when he was like 5 years old mm -hmm. I do him on YouTube at 5 years old yeah. I fell back then he started to push me, like, come on, Dad, what you, you don't want to do it, let's go. He started pushing me. So I'm like, oh, now he's 11, I'm going to push you harder. All right, then that's, that's, I needed, I needed to yeah. get that, because I'm in the, <laughs> in the realm, my dude is, he look like a baller, but this nigga, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, he, nah, he he's I into knew, it, though, but Nah, he, facts. I don't know. He's a different type of cat. It's the same thing with my three, son. We're going to run two, three miles. We're going to run two, three miles. I want to push, I wanna right push now, my son into the sports. Push mine, I, I, I ain't saying <laughs> push him. I understand yeah, what you're saying. You did that. The family I come from, we all was like, you you better start early or you're going to be behind left in the eight ball. So right now, your son, <laughs> right. people don't really know for the people But it ain't like there. that with everybody. Everybody, nah, you can nah, groom yeah, later. Yeah. Yeah. No, just the father. That's why I just put it out there for the fathers out there because I know some people feel like me. Some people got me. Feel like you, you know what I'm saying, or feel like himself. But just my whole family was pushed. Any really nice people. baller that ever came from my family, he was he was pushed. So what else did you do with Little Trap? Because people don't really know that he's kind of like a big deal right now. He's number, he, he's ranking and a lot of listing. Um, like what's one of the top um, lists he's in right now? I see. Uh, rankings ain't come out yet, but he one of the top fifty players um, in the country. Um, uh, he's going to the eighth grade, so he's gonna be the basically the best eighth grader in Connecticut. My goal is to make him the best player Connecticut has ever seen. We're very close. It's coming. Okay, okay. Um, but what I did with him to try to get him to try to make him the best player Connecticut has ever seen, I started traveling with him, being in these AAU teams in New York. We started traveling to Baltimore, Virginia, North Carolina, Chicago, mm -hmm. Jersey. It get real out there. I seen. It, it get real out there. When he was five, when he was six years old, I sent him to his first camp in Indiana. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, MSE, MSE camp, 
it was crazy there. Muzzy Bo's grandson was there. Yeah. Like, it's kids that was there now that's like all Americans in high school right now. Did Magic Johnson recognize him on the, like, the tube or whatever? He hit him up? Oh, yeah. He was on the, um, when he was five years old, his first YouTube thing. He had a little thing for Magic Johnson up there. That's lit, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so that's what got him started. I do him on YouTube. What's cool? Five. So where, where can we find this? Where, where can we find this? Yeah, what is it? YouTube. Trav Upchurch Jr. Uh, it's, it's, it's little Trav, little Trav Upchurch. L I L T R A V Upchurch. Instagram. He only got an Instagram right now. And what grade he in? He in uh, eighth grade. Class of two thousand twenty-five. What school he go to right now? Just in case people is. You know what I mean? People catch wind of it and want to go check out a prospect. You go to a private school, Fairfield Country Day. is in Fairfield. Private school. Real yeah. good school academic-wise. And Mar yes, want to know what is he going to do at the 8th grade? I'm not sure yet, man. He got options. He got scholarship offers to all these local uh, um, Catholic schools out here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do Catholic or prep. Are you going to prep on ship them out? You too. know how we've been talking. Like, are, are you going to make that move and, sure. and ship them out? I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying to make the right move. I'm so not trying to make no false out. moves. Public school is out. It's definitely out. Because you said you reclassed them, right? I reclassed them. He's doing eighth grade. And do you, yeah. that's, 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 that's like the thing to do. That's the thing to do. That's the thing a lot of Connecticut people don't know about. A lot of a lot of people in Connecticut hating on me because I did it. I, he don't, I don't need to reclass them. But dudes in other states been doing this for for years. Yeah. I, I know dudes personally telling me Connecticut 20, 30 years behind the eight ball. That's why nobody from here makes it because... Yeah, that's in, that's what I'm about to say. That's it's like, system. That's they don't, that's don't know the system. That's a system. system. It's a system. Nah, nah, but you know... And, and you know I think people ain't been in the right the system. system. Yeah, so he's so. supposed to be going to ninth grade, but you read classes yeah, to stay in eighth. Yeah, classes through eighth grade. Yeah. I know All right. right. God willing, he get good enough. My goal is I want to reclass him back up if he get good enough after his junior year. Mm-hmm. I want him to skip his senior year, mm-hmm. kind of the way Andre Drummond did it. If he get good enough, if not, cool. Graduate. He's, he's supposed to graduate better at nineteen. Better do it early than later. He's fair. He's thirteen, yeah. right? Thirteen. Huh? He thirteen. He fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, all right. Yeah. He fourteen. He ain't playing for yeah. He's it's a thing, man. The thing around going on. These fathers have been telling me, people have been telling me that's deep into the game. They got, it's so deep, man. I ain't know it get this deep in this what? age. Yeah, what I'm, what I'm, team he playing? It's deep, man. It's it deep. Get deep. deep. It get man. deep. It get deep. It's, it's, it's way. It as deep. in you looking at it, it's look one way, but the whole it the whole deep. scope of the thing is a whole different part. It get deep. And I learned a lot. Like that. and a I lot. come home back to Connecticut trying to put other people on. A lot of people don't be want to follow my path. I'm like. You ain't gonna make it like that, bro. Shout out to going to shout out, what's, what's the school again? Fairfield Country Day. And that's mm-hmm. a great school, school. boy. Books. Scott. Yeah, that yeah, books. You know what I mean? School, boy. And, w- and what <laughs> AAU teams he play for? He play for Expressions Elite out in Mass, Boston, Massachusetts. Just one school team? Or? Yeah, that's, a, uh, that's his main team. He played for a couple team? local teams out, out here, but. His main team, Expressions Elite. Expressions. Is it Nike Expressions is the, the, the people that own the Expressions. Uh, that's the people that lit. That's T. Clark. I already know you know, bro. Do you remember any last words before we get up out of here? Uh, shout out to y'all, man, for doing this thing, man. Um, I thank you, bro. Um, you a legend, man. <laughs> For real? I don't feel like no lay no legend, man. You are, man. Yeah. You, you don't think you're not, but you know, everybody a legend in their own way. That's I just want people from my it. state to start making it, man. Whatever they do, whatever field you taking up, man, if it's sports, if it's music, if it's dancing, if it's anything, it's just we got to work harder, we got to do better, we got to come together more. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's anywhere really, you know. We yeah. we really from the bottom, you know what I mean. So that's really anywhere. It's somewhere. Everybody anywhere. It's, everybody got a little struggle, and we all got to just come up at the yeah, end. Yeah, of the day. gotta come up. You know what I mean. So thank yeah. you once again. We appreciate you coming through, bro. For real good looking, God man. No doubt, no doubt. Shout out to you. Shout out to your man, man. I forgot his name. Shout out my man Jeter. Jeter in the building. Shout out my man G. Man. We here, man. You know what I mean. Appreciate so. It. Good morning.